The third kind of test that we can do if we have two continuous variables is correlation. In correlation, we do not assume that there is any cause and effect. Rather, we simply try to assess whether the two continuous variables are related to each other in some way. That relationship could be positive if the correlation is positive, or it could be negative if the one factor gets smaller as the other factor gets larger. The tightness of the correlation is measured by R, which is the correlation coefficient. In a manner similar to R squared, if the value of R approaches one, it's a tight correlation. If the value is closer to zero, it's a much looser correlation. The Washington Post provided an interesting graphic showing the relationship between states and the percentage of people wearing masks in public or all or most of the time versus the percentage of people who knew someone with COVID-19 symptoms. So this is actually an interesting article that talks about the issues involved in talking about cause and effect versus correlation. Conveniently, they provided a table of the numbers, which gives us an opportunity to go ahead and check the correlation analysis that they ran. The data are available in this GitHub gist. Let's go ahead and read those in. We see that there are three columns in this table, the state abbreviation, the percent symptoms and percent wearing mask. We don't really need the state abbreviation, so we should get rid of that column. We can do that by using transmute and only read into our new data frame the percentage symptoms and percentage of masks. So our new data frame has only those two columns in it. If we plot those columns, we see a plot very similar to what was in the newspaper. We can run a correlation test and we see that there is a strong negative correlation with a very low p-value. What we have not done is to check whether this is a valid test or not.